Okay guys, we're down here before daylight trying to get this uh, bottom in here where our w w wire washed down this past spring. We haven't had a chance to even get in here and now it's just a powder house. So we're going to try to get in here. We're going to try to get some strands of bob wire put up across here to hopefully let the water pass underneath it from that point forward and keep the animals in in this bottom so that we don't lose our fence again. So that's our plan. We're going to see how it works. We're just going to start putting up some bob wire and stretching it and trying to see if we can't make it work. Okay, guys, we're going to uh, refurbish some old barbed wire we, we took down on the place here. We're going to try to reuse it through here instead of having to go buy new stuff. We're allowing a lot of extra in the event that the wire ever breaks, we've got enough to tie it back together with. Okay, the most awesome homestead tool ever invented for fencing. This thing here, guys, you might get it to push down. Here we go. It pushes open, the wire clamps in the middle, and the harder you pull it, the tighter it pulls on the wire.
I have a tool in the shop. I just... Okay, guys, the reason for the new post is this is the old post. This, this swamp is filled in this much. This post was sticking out of the ground five foot, and it's done filled in this much. Uh, any of you that go back and watch our videos from last year, you'll see that where I'm standing at right now, I was bogging over knee deep in just slush and mud. And it's so dry right now that uh, it's just powder here. This just sand and powder. So that's why we're in here changing this because the woven wire fence that we had here collected debris against it and caused it to collapse over and the ground to keep filling in. So what we've done is we've gone back with, we're putting barbed wire here now. That way, if this fence collapses and falls on down, it won't matter because the water will still be able to pass through the barbed wire. Guys, one of the big disadvantages to woven wire is the fact that when you have hilly land like we do with bottoms and swamps, water goes through it and debris piles up against it and collapses it and tears your fences up. So that is one advantage to having barbed wire in these type of areas where water can pass underneath your fences and debris won't build up on them. Okay guys, one positive thing about the drought. It has allowed us to get into these places like this uh, to be able to fix our fencing back. Um, yes, this morning it is 7.30 and it is scorching hot already. Even though the sun hasn't hit here, the humidity is relentless. And I've had to take my hat off because it's just so hot. Um, but we've been able to get the fence up here. We only put three strands because we've got still got the other fence behind it. Um, I think we're not going to fasten the other fence to this because if it blows the other one down, it would just take this one with it. So we're going to leave it not fastened to it. So if it folds the other one down, we still have three strands of wire here. Our cow won't get out. Um, we'll probably come back and put more strands in here uh, if something happens just to ensure that uh, the cows don't get over the fence. We kept it up kind of high where they wouldn't want to jump it. Um, the reason we are doing this is because that's only two foot high down there. And, and the, the cows, in the drought that we're in, if they see something to eat, they'll just jump over the fence and go in here because there's plenty of woods here for them to eat on. So as long as this fence is up five feet high, they're not as likely to jump over it. And plus we're looking at possibly getting uh, another cow and if it's not familiar with the area like the ones we have is then it's more likely to jump over the fence so that's kind of our thinking on this if we're trying to get things ready um, for the winter months for next spring the drought as bad as it's been has been a blessing to us in some ways because we're able to fix things that a few months ago we were bogging this deep you know in mud down here and then when you like that, you run the risk of getting on a moccasin in the water and stuff like that. As dry as it is right now, I mean, it's just, 
it's just sand. There, there's, there's just sand and dust across here. So we're going to try to move on and get on another project now before it gets too hot. We want to make sure we got this one taken care of. We feel a lot better for the winter months now. And guys, don't forget, I'm going to show you the tool. This right here, the most amazing farm fencing tool ever made. If you go to pull fencing barbed wire, you can stick it between them two strands there and pull it. And you can pull, power companies use these to pull power lines with. Guys, look, the harder you pull it, the tighter it gets on that wire. You'll break a wire before you pull it out of this. So I've actually got two or three of these that I keep around. I got a small one for a little wire. I got this big one for bigger wire. And when it comes to doing fencing and barbed wire, you can't have beat it. It's the most amazing fencing tool ever created. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.